Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. Today, we have some news announcements in the game. They didn't even tell me about this. I woke up literally two hours ago. I'm like, what? what is this hook? What is the supercell? Why don't you tell me anything anymore? So you click on the hook. It's a new card teaser. What's coming in the next update? A new card. Like the Ram Rider, this new legendary character will bring unique mechanic to Clash Royale. So it's a legendary card. Is it going to be an anchor or is it going to be like a hook? Like, is it going to anchor down and you get hit and it's impervious to all knockback? No, no, no. Impervious to even the log. Bowler doesn't knock back the prince. That's not really a unique mechanic. So it can't be an anchor unless this anchors the log. No, no, no. That doesn't make sense either. So looking at this hook, that's a high res hook there. Th this has to be a hook. Now, when the hunter first became conceptualized, he actually hooked stuff and it would come in. Kind of like Roadhog from Overwatch, but Roadhog copied Pudge, but Pudge copied Link. Anyways, we think it's going to be like a hook shot. Look, look at that. Look at that. The hunter had an anchor. He didn't have like a, like a grappling hook kind of claw. It, just, it was just an anchor. So we think they're finally releasing this concept into the game. They've already coded it into the game like two years ago. They just never released the hunter in his hooky. Wait, did you guys know you can like the post inside the game? I didn't know that. And the king cries when you unlike it. Join the discussion on Reddit. So you click on the link and then it says we've got a little update coming for you guys. We've been working our way through the next update and it's shaping up to be one of our favorites. So now let's not get our expectations too high because sometimes when it gets too high, touchdown comes out. Here's a few things that we've been working on. A new card, changes to crown chess, a new arena, and a whole lot more. More info will be coming out over the next few weeks. So basically, the anchor hook thing that they just sneak peeked is not going to be in the game for the next couple weeks. Finland is going to go on vacation by the end of the summer, so it seems like it's probably going to be a few weeks, which is the end of the month. So end of June, maybe? Then at the bottom, it says prepare for Clash Royale Season 1. Derica says probably removing gems. <laughs> Drew says no, so I wonder how they're revamping crown chess. I like the crown chess. The crown chess cycle is synced to my bowel movement. I get a notification on my phone. Oh, it's time to sit on the throne. Vano Vano says, when the update hits and the new arena is there, will we be dropped arena one like the last update? I'm in arena 13, please say no. Drew says this won't be happening. We'll be keeping the same amount of arenas that are in the game at the moment. Okay, so we know that much going on for us. So Goblin Guru says there's gonna be new cards. Crown chess changes, a new arena. And he's saying that's it. There's only three of them. We need quality. Quality of life changes and Drew says that don't worry chill we there, there's other things that are coming don't worry there's a whole lot more to this update and we will be revealing that over the next couple weeks couple weeks so the updates gonna come out in a couple weeks there's they've said couple weeks so many times prepare for season one current season ends in 16 days update drops in a couple weeks in 16 days and 16 hours coincidence I think not 16 days so that's Updates probably gonna hit June 30th or midnight or something knowing Supercell they always June 30th 1 a.m So that makes it July. So their last update was April 19th That was two months ago and typically from my experience any updates that are usually like two months apart are usually smaller changes because they don't have the time I noticed that really big changes come when the update comes in three four month cycles So this is gonna be a two month cycle because they're on vacation for the rest of the summer So they're pushing it out a little bit earlier. That means it's gonna be like a medium-sized update Don't expect like a complete complete revamp in grand challenges or anything completely crazy with a new game i don't know maybe there is just like on all their socials they're saying that this is coming to the next update hashtag clash royale season one season one is probably like the season pass that they have in clash of clans Ooh, that's a lot of gold upgrade those boys i know what? I, I'm getting distracted here. So the season pass, if you look at Clash of Clans, they have a gold pass for the June season up to 20 times value, $6.99. You don't have to buy this, but I've had, I've heard so many good things from everyone that's playing Clash of Clans that like when I was playing this like four years ago, I wish they had this kind of stuff in the game. In this gold pass for Clash of Clans, get the season gold pass to get even more rewards from season challenges. Exclusive rewards include an all new hero skin, one gem quick donation, boost for your builders, laboratory and training up to five times bigger season bank, five times bigger season bank. So we can speculate that the crown chest is going to be reworked and it's going to be five times bigger if you have a season pass. You can boost your production in Clash of Clans. In Clash Royale, you can boost your chest to unlock faster, you can boost your crown chest to double the rewards, you can boost your victory gold to get double the victory gold for the whole day, so I'm sure you're gonna get free boosts for that, for the entire season of this 
pass. New hero skins, what what could they have? They could have towers. So obviously we have like all the skins for all the cards already. Star level two, star level three, all that good stuff. But I think it's more than that. I think there's gonna be skins to your crown tower. I remember one update, the king tower was just right there. Just as if they're ready for some skins or something. This is a while back, but they had the red king tower. And now you have the gold towers, you have the gem tower, and you have the elixir towers. So I would not be surprised if they have new tower skins with a season pass. All right, this is all speculation, but to wrap up, what I think is gonna be coming in is there's gonna be a hook mechanic, a ground unit legendary troop that hooks units towards it. Him, her, it. Crown chests are gonna be worked in the sense that there's gonna be season passes. With season passes, the crown chests are probably gonna be like five times more rewards. They could give you like chests and stuff. There's gonna be boosts if they have season passes. There's going to be skins for king towers, probably. It wouldn't make sense to have it for the cards because there already are skins for the cards. They're not really exclusive. That's about all we know right now. They, they said it's gonna be releasing in a couple more weeks. And a couple, by the, the update, it's coming June 30th at 3 a.m. J July 1st, 3 a.m., I think. There's always a balance update the first Monday, and July 1st is a Monday. Coincidence? I think not. That's when the update comes out! Supercell! I mean, I, I think I've just been playing this game for too long, so it's like I already know all the patterns that they're going to be doing. I could be completely wrong, but I'm never wrong. <laughs> Originally, I was going to do the elixir capture instead of the update, but the update kind of happened on me. But we're still going to finish this with this goofy deck. I, it's, it just works. Royal recruits, zappies, archers, they all split. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. I don't even know if this is good. I just freaking love it. I love the fact that I already... this The Royal Recruits only cost 5 Elixir in the first go. And, uh... I'm gonna have to do Archers to take care of those bats. That Inferno Tower, though. Not worth it for the 2 Elixir. It's not the Dragon Egg. You do not need to put down an Inferno Tower to be down 3 Elixir. Alright. Let's put down some of those guys. Maybe we'll do, like, a Fireball. Take out the Hog Rider. Take out the Goblin Barrel. And we're all good. And maybe I'll split my zappies. Come on, just need that one elixir. Nice. Maybe I'll log some of those spear goblins. Maybe an electro dragon to take out the bats. Oh, look at that zappy on the right side. That zappy's gonna get. Mm, nope. All right, fine. If he can't, if if I grab it, then he can't grab him. Let's get. Oh my! Uh, this this deck doesn't even make sense, but we're we're doing it. <laughs> He's gonna have Hog Rider, so what I'm gonna do is, yeah, delay that Hog. Boom, boom, boom! Perma stunned. Let him have that, and then I'm gonna take the Ice Spirit on the left side to take out that Elixir. If he can't have it, nobody can have it. All right. I'm, I'm okay with um, those goblin barrels there. And let's let's get rid of those bats. Because those were recruits. They're doing decent damage. Not bad. And then my archers. Can't deal with my archers. Alright, we got a log. Uh, my fingers weren't on there. I, if I reacted faster, it would have been fine. Let's, let's grab that. This is just a really cycly deck to hog all the elixir on the river. Oh my goodness. I am in trouble. He keeps... Inferno Tower! I don't know about Inferno Tower for that. Okay, now we go for the real pushes. Let's split some of that. Let's grab this, the elixir in the center. He used Fireball. He's not going to have anything for my Zappy. Cycled to my Archers. This is for a really big push. I'm already... I'm already back. He can't go for the Hog Rider. We have two Royal Recruits in rotation. He's doomed! We're splitting Zappies. Ice Spirit. We got archers. I'm going. I'm going hard on the left side. Maybe I'm gonna log. Ooh, beautiful. Maybe I'll I'll do roll recruits four on the right side in case he tries to hog rider anything crazy. And there we go. This deck doesn't make sense. Well, it kind of does. It's really splittable. Just hogs all of the elixirs and the bridge. It works! It works, alright! Zero losses! You can't lose in this challenge. So why not have a fun deck? Again, roll recruits. In the very beginning, it's free elixirs. Why the heck not? Let's do zappies. Archer is there to t take out the minions. Beautiful. Skeletons deal a lot of DPS. He's ignoring the left side. He's doomed. He's very doomed. I need my roll recruits to take that out and tank the zappies you know what we're gonna go all out on the right side now 
Because it looks like my left side's completely covered. Oh, beautiful. World Recruits take it all out. This deck, it works. I don't know why, but it just works. Don't question it. Just do it. Let's do an Ice Spirit right at the river to hog that one elixir. Skeletons. Again, skeletons split. They're beautiful. Are we going to do this? Is this a three crown already? It's not even double elixir yet. <laughs> Rural recruits are good when they cost five elixir. I love it. I miss when they cost six elixir. They're so broken. No no skill card. Okay, this deck works. Oh man, we get, we got world recruits again. We rush, we rush. I already, already got two elixir. It automatically costs five. Uh, I feel like they're going to get this. That's fine. Maybe log the hog rider. Log the... Yep, Royal Recruits connect on the left side. Totally worth it. Oh man, my Royal Recruit passed that. Well, if he can't have it, I can't have it. Oh, wreck. Wrecked that night. Oh, uh, nope. He's wrecking me. Royal Recruits, we're overcommitting. Actually, that split worked out really nicely. So I'm going to get all the elixir and the bridge now. We're going to split skeletons just because I can. Just because I can. And I'm not going to split the zappies. I'm going to want him to fireball the right side. Come on, fireball it. Fireball it. Do it. Do it. Fireball me. Fine, don't fireball me. I need to do dragon there. Maybe. Uh, yep. Beautiful. Skeletons to hog that one elixir. So far, so good. This deck is... I, I, don't question it. It just works. Uh, he's gonna get that. I'm just gonna defend on the right side with my roll recruits. Maybe I'll do an ice bridge to stop the hog rider. Just a, just a bit. Because he is raged after all. He's gonna only get one hit thanks to the ice spirit. Maybe I'll do zappies right at the river like that because we got the roll recruits tanking for us. So we're gonna take out that one furnace. Grab the elixir in the center. Beautiful. There's no way he's getting through. I'm gonna split my skeletons. And then maybe we'll grab the elixirs. This time I'm going to put down an Inferno Dragon. Nope. We're splitting. Fireball's not going to save you. Split everything. Uh. Nope, that witch is going to be trouble. Oh, man. I got. I had to fireball that witch. Lame. This is gonna be a one crown. Not as great as the other ones. All right. <laughs> He's fighting really hard for that elixir collector in the center. Let's steal that elixir right there with a skeleton. Maybe put an ice spirit there. And there we go. I don't know about hog rider. Hog rider can't really rush because it has to go into there. Worth it. You can't lose in this challenge. So the goofier the deck, the better. 1,000 gold. Oh my goodness. Three legendary cards. 70 epics. That's really good. This is a really good challenge. Supercell with... What? What? This is like your best challenge you've ever had. My goodness. All right, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OG.